Hello, everybody, and welcome to Nora Cyril Field. Today, we are here to watch. Oh, sorry about that. To watch the Dover Sherburn Raiders and the Medway Mustangs battle for another beautiful day game of boys lacrosse. I'm Mika Gat, joined alongside by Mr. Sebastian Asar. Of course, the man, the myth, the legend. I'm hoping this is a fun game. Last time we were here commentating the Raiders, they had an unlucky, devastating loss to, I'd say, one of the best lacrosse goalies I've seen in my entire life. And by the way, I found out after he was a sophomore. Oh, dang. A sophomore looking for Division One offers, which is really impressive. And that was a Norwell. But today... Oh, Norwell. Norwell. Hey, I used to live near there. Oh, there you go. Well, Norwell, I, I don't know if they're really uh, in the same division as the Raiders. I know that Medway is. Medway's a TVL school. Played them for football, so a little bit of rivalry here. So, of course, I'm rooting for the Raiders to win. And I know they had a game on Saturday, which they pulled out as well. Let's get the game started. They're starting off the tip-off. Is that a tip-off? No, is it's it a face-off. Face-off. You play lacrosse, Sebastian? No, I don't. Okay, you just know the terminology. That's good. Yeah. That's good. All right. Well, speaking of which, we should have rosters. Which would be a great idea. Where are the ones from last time? They're in the studio, I think. Awesome. Well, we got some good... Hey, Chuck! Big shout out over there for Mr. Charlie Perry. Number 10. Number one in our hearts, even though he's a little injured. Starting in goal, by the way, Mr. Stanish Carruthers is not playing today. Due to injury, so we have Mr. Derek Daly, the backup goalkeeper, number one, filling in for Stanish at goalkeeper, the junior. So definitely keep your eye on him because, oh, Derek is a master. Yeah, one of our own workers, Jack Daly. Yeah, um, it's his younger brother. All right, let's start the tip-off. That is Mr. Ben Wayne facing off with Medway to stop, start the tip-off. We got Pierce Bradley and Ben Teach back in the back in the front court. Ready to get the ball. And here mm -hmm. comes Bradley. I know, so I was talking to Bradley, actually, after the uh, loss that they had. And he told me how Dev like, he, he was super motivated after missing a lot of... He, he didn't make a single one of the goals. He was really motivated to bounce back in a big way. And, you know, I'm expecting it from, here, from him today. So watch out for number 50, Mr. Bradley Peterson. And, of course, the deadly duo of Ben Teach, number 9, and Pierce Gregory, number 3. Obviously coming out of there. Medway's right now passing the ball around, looking for a good shot on goal with testing out this new goalkeeper, Mr. Derek Daly. Let's see what the defense can muster up. Yeah. Medway just lo looking like they're just passing around trying to find a hole in this Absolutely. DS defense. All right, here, here they come in the middle. Oh, they tried the bounce. Unlucky. Derek was ready. By the way, watch out for the, the two stone defensemen, number 22, Henry Murphy. He just plays defense all around for the football team, for the lacrosse team. And number 30, lacrosse captain and, and lacrosse commit Luke Weiss. Watch out for those two. Those two are going to be re wrecking havoc today on the defensive end. Hopefully, hopefully. Well, here comes six coming around. Oh, no. Oh, what a save. What a save by Derek. Beautiful save. Oh, my God. Great job. Gets right in front of that. Puts his body in a great position. All right, Henry Murphy is looking to pass the ball up. Uh, cross field, dangerous a little bit, but was able to complete it. All right, up to Bradley. Yeah, we'll get the rosters in a second, so I'll get everyone's number, but I'm going off the so far the numbers I know, though. Defense and offensive numbers. All right, here comes Willie Bowen, number six. Oh, Just, he oh, oh, he scored! Goal! Mr. Ben Teach. Or was that Pierce? Who was, was it three or nine that scored? I'm not sure. Not sure. You know what? I know that one of them assisted, one of them scored, so I think it was Ben Teach. So shout out to Ben Teach, shout out to Pierce Gregory. Great goal. Dover Sherburn leads one to zero at the start left. of the first quarter. Now, I really like this game. There's not, not as many timeouts. There's no stoppage in place. It's not like uh, every time that you pass a ball and it's incomplete, it's a restart. Oh, here comes Ben Wayne. Oh, he's getting a oh, kicks the ball. Okay, here comes Bradley. He's going around. Yeah. People are trying to swing it down. Let's see. He's trying to find somebody. He's looking. He's looking. Passes it to Teach. Teach his older brother Noah Teach over in Tulane. Used to be a big lacrosse guy himself. So, yeah. 
I don't think Bradley's committed for lacrosse. Pierce Gregory, by the way, who I'm talking about was a captain, committed to Bryant lacrosse. So, good stuff here. Uh, speaking of which, here comes Pierce. Oh, look at the spin move. Oh, it's another spin move. Oh, he oh, is. Oh, but he dropped the ball. It's all right. It's all right. He's there. Two guys coming in on him. Oh, oh he drops it again. He got to get there. Ugh. Oh, Pierce oh. trying to whack the arm. Oh, the stick comes out. Oh. Hey, call it. A oh. Well, see, what is, is that a travel? Like when he like that type of motion in the arms. I, I can't tell by the referee's call. I don't know. But Eli, oh yeah, Eli Kaplan just runs off the field. Number seventeen. I saw a little knee brace, so I knew it was Eli. All right, now let's see what they can do over here. Uh oh, number three coming in hot. Uh, right, Crossing field. Oh, here oh. comes Luke Weiss. Look at that aggression. Oh, ah, knocks the ball right out of his hands. All right, now we got. Thank you to Mr. Cam Crandall of the crew for providing rosters. Oh, there comes Willie Bowen. I just made a copy. Here it comes. <laughs> oh, there's a flag. Okay, it's a, but they're, okay. They only stop play if it completely is out. Can okay, I see this for a second, but Sebastian? Because my oh, it's, I think it's a my, one. My numbers weren't fully printed. <laughs> that was Billy Rooney, number 24, who's just now being subbed out, along with what I believe to be Mr. Michael Polk. Yeah, Stick I think that was like a one minute unreleasable. Or Possibly. releasable. Possibly. All right. Ford. No, it's not Ford. That's Pierce. Pierce Gregory looking for a good opportunity here. Oh, good clean pass to teach. Back to Willie. Willie looking for Bradley. Bradley looking for Pierce. Pierce looking for teach. Te oh, oh, drops. Teach. Oh, hot potato over here. Oh. Oh, finds Billy Root. No, that's Ford Pegram. Sorry, Billy's 24. Oh, oh they the just tried shot. it behind the head. They just tried it behind the head. Absolutely. So, again, it's a 1-0 lead for the Dover Sherburn Raiders right now for the members watching us at home. Pierce, oh, oh. too high for Bradley. You know, it's a great try. A lot of senior leadership on this team, which is what I like to see. A lot of guys that have been coming back from the team that won it all two short years ago. And by the way, if the Dover Sherman wins today, they're right now one and one. They're looking to get back into the win column for the first time since their state championship two years ago. I mean, they're defending champs, so let's defend it. Here comes Ben Teach trying to chase it down. Passes it. Ooh, off of the face mask of Henry Murphy. Oh, that was off the helmet. Oh, here comes Pierce. Rips it and scores! Goal! Pierce Gregory. Pierce Gregory with the goal. Second goal today. Was that was it Pierce with the first one or was it Teach with the first one? I'm still confused. I mean, we need video evidence on that one. But point is, Pierce has assisted in both of these goals. and I mean, he scored the second one. He's taken part in both of these goals. That's what I wanted to say. Yeah. Also, shout out to Mr. Cam Raycroft, who I, I assume is he's on the... For, he's uh, graduated two years ago. He's helping out with the Varsity Raiders. I'm assuming that he's just a volunteer. I wouldn't assume that he's doing that full-time, part-time possibly. Uh, timeout taken, I think. Absolutely. Well, that is correct. That is definitely a timeout. All right. So what are we thinking right now? The score 2-0 after two beautiful opportunities from the offense. I'm telling you, the normal goalie just... Any of those shots by Norval Sherman would have gone wide right, wide left, or just nowhere near it if it was the Norwell goalie. So, no disrespect to the Medway goalie. It's really early in the game, but play ball. So Sebastian, you're not a big lacrosse guy yourself? No, not really. I don't really play a sport. Well, not a big baseball guy? No, no, I am a big baseball big guy. Big baseball guy. Okay, nice. Nice. All right. Now let's see what... The Raiders. The Medway Mustangs can what is it? The muster up. Yeah, that's the expression. Can muster up. It's, you know, it's uh what those modern kids say these days. Muster up. And they said one, two, three something, but I didn't hear what the uh, break was. Something. Well as we resume play here. Alright, over Sherburn, little burst of energy. Here comes Bradley. Pierce, Teach, into the front field. Yeah, number 28, Ben Wayne. Oh, okay. there's Noah Sampson. I haven't given him enough love. Sampson over there on the uh, midi for the left wing. Big, tall guy. And 24, three seniors in the middle. There's Billy, Mr. Ben Wayne, or as he likes to be called, Mr. Mitch. 
Ooh. You can hear on the field they're calling him Mitch. Mitch. And then Mr. Noah Sampson. Oh, yeah. oh, the ball was kicked. See, the, the crossball is so small that, like, us in the booth, we have the best view, I think, of the entire field. Yeah, probably. On and on and on. Oh, shoots it. Uh, too far to the left. <laughs> I love how Derek just. <laughs> that was good. That was good. Derek goes full body into that. But, yeah, he trips up a little bit towards the end. But it's good effort. Yeah, play center. All right. Let's see. So that's absolutely. I mean, he switched from running back to center. The number 16, that's Charlie Budd. Playing some, ooh, oh, great defense. Good chef. Great defense. Who got there first? Was that Murphy? Ah, they're giving it to Medway. Okay, I'll, I'll is give it. Is it whoever gets to the ball it, first? It is exactly that. Oh, wow. I know, crazy Didn't stuff. Know that. Exactly. So I believe Rooney trying to pressure Mitch, Billy. Uh oh, he's Here coming in. Number three. Oh, great block by Derek. He's ready. He's like he's like a hockey goalie. He's ready for the, anything. You can hear the coaches giving out their advice. Coach Garini, yeah. Coach Macchiato, and Coach McLaughlin, among others. I don't know all their names, but oh, I think that was a defensive play right there. All right. That again, number 25, fights for that ball. That's Noah Sampson. Derek picks it up. Nice, nice. All right, he's looking for someone. He's trying to just throw it up. All right, gives it to former football player Henry Murphy. Oh, oh, ah. It's, it's Medway's ball. Yeah, error there from number 22, Henry Murphy. Unlucky. Oh, it's okay. All right, I got to get back on defense, play some more D. Look at that pressure by Billy Rooney. Great job. Using his hockey mentality to get right where the where he needs to be to play some defense. He comes he's trying to get around Luke Weiss. Look at that. Oh, whoo! Tried to whip that in, but unlucky. Unfortunate. Didn't get anything in there. Ooh. Nice catch there from number six. Oh, flag. flag. All right, that's that should be Henry's ball. I mean Murphy was closest to that. All right, subs coming in. Number 19, Carson Ahola back healthy. I saw him a little bit banged up after the first game. Maybe he's played. Yeah, I don't know. And Samson 30. coming in. Luke Weiss is out. Ben Wayne is out. All right, let's see what they do here. I think it's a 30-second unreleasable. Uh, okay. Number three, uh, number 23 to one. Ooh. Oh, he's trying something. Back out. They're doing a little bit of hot potato. <laughs> oh, he Ooh, drops it. Ah. That's a, good, that's a good try by Carson Ahola. He just wasn't ready. He wasn't expecting that. And All right. A little bit more hot potato. All right. A little bit. Oh, shot. Oh, great block by Derek. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, falling down with the defense on Charlie Budd falling down. Is that Johnny Bettett? You can see the Jets on this kid. Look at Johnny. Sprints right into the mini position, ready to go and attack. What a soldier. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, he missed it. Oh, that would have been an easy oh. shot. Oh, he tried the no-look pass, but Murphy was not fooled at all. Back to the Raiders game plan. Thank you guys for the people tuning in at home. I hope you guys are having fun just as much as we are. Because mm -hmm. I'm having a blast. This is just fun to watch some good old lacrosse from the pack. Oh, Ben Teach trying to get that. Scoops it up to Pierce. Let's see what Pierce can figure out here. Oh, to the side. Gives to Teach. Ah! Oh, makes it into the soccer net. That is a soccer golazo. But that is the wrong sport. And the ball is way too small. <laughs> yeah, number 24, um, Bill Rooney getting the sub here for number 16. Carson Hall should be? I might be wrong. Oh, no, that's Ben. Uh, that's, uh, Will Bowen. Oh, no, no. No, no, no. Mm -hmm. That's uh, Bradley. Uh, not Bradley. Charlie Budd. He's not on the list. No, no, he is. Number 10. Though. Yeah, but they m meant to put it at 16. They messed up here. I know because I sat through the last time thinking the same thing to myself. Okay. How could they have messed up that bad? Oh, Bradley. Can he? Oh! oh number 50 got a shot blocked there. That'd be Brad Peterson. Was it blocked? Yeah, I heard the. Okay. Yeah, it was unlucky. Like I said, Bradley didn't have the best of outings the first time they met. Well, I mean, in his first game of the season. So, definitely expecting a little bit more out of him today. Yeah. Another shot. DS. Ooh. Unlucky. This squad, that would be number 11 on the shot attempt there. That'd be Wyatt Parkour. 
going to guess that. He's a freshman, so. And he's getting subbed out. Back in, number 19, Carson Ahola. And Johnny Bennett with the stick forward, showing that I got it. I got it mentality. <laughs> number five is in. I'm going to give enough love, enough love to number five. That's Tim Sampson. No, not enough love to number five. Oh. oh. Oh, he falls down. Falls down hard. That's Henry Murphy's ball. Coach Garini giving some wise words of coaching. Wise words, of course. Yeah, 25 there. Um, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, Derek turned it over. Oh, that was never pass it into the middle. That was a dangerous, dangerous pass. And then Dover Sherburn leads yeah, well, to, Med to Medway one. Capitalizes on that. I mean, Did I say Medfield? I meant to say Medway. Did I say Medfield? No. I think I said Medway. I said Med. I almost said Medfield. Ah, Sebastian, you got to learn. You can't mix up your teams. Mix up your teams, you're in big, big trouble. Will I get fired? No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you're old enough to get fired. <laughs> One day, one day maybe, hopefully not, but maybe one day. I don't think I want to get fired though. All right, uh, DS with the last. Ooh, and that would be number eight, getting the worst of that face off. Uh, oh. Griffin Rossbottom. Oh, Rossbottom. Oh, he just got his, oh man, Billy Rooney just got his ankles broken. Uh -huh. Oh no. Oh, are they going to tie the game right? Oh, oh great. Off the cup. I must say, great job by the goal. <laughs> Not the goalie, by the goal. But I was like, oh, oh, Griffin needs to. What is Griffin, do what is Griffin doing? What is Griffin doing? Oh, Come know. on. You got to scoop that up. Okay, All right, let's three. see what Billy's going to do here. I want to see Griffin get aggressive here. He's a football player. Wide receiver, although, but still. Football player mentality, you got to get aggressive. And this isn't bowling. You got to get aggressive here. I don't think you need to be as aggressive in bowling. Well, you could be, but still. Yeah. <laughs> number played? nine here, coming in. Number nine, but not the Raiders, number nine. Uh, tries to little hand off to number 17, misses. Coming oh, in. hits it, misses, passes it back. Yeah, nice. Oh, oh, well, oh hits man. Off the back. You know, we should have Medway rosters, but I, you know, the way that I commentate for the Medway parents, I'll sh I like to shout out the numbers, but I don't like to do the players' names because, I mean, at, at some sense, there's not enough fans in the stands, so I want to be like a fan zone, supporting the how the Raiders are supposed to work because we have a crazy loud fan section back when the prime of the season is, so it should be a classic. Classic on the turf. Over to Bradley. Now, let's see. Can Bradley put something here? Can Bradley score a goal? Jeans! Eli Kaplan, or as he likes to be called, Jeans! He gets the ball. <laughs> Passes it over. Number 15. Shot! Oh! Did that not go in? That didn't go in? What? Oh, ref what? it off. No Michael. way. That was Ford Pegram. No way. Pegram. Ford Pegram had that. It hit the top and it bounced, it bounced past the line from this angle. It looked like it bounced into the net and then rolled out. You know, sometimes in hockey, you can't because the puck is so small. Yeah. It's all right. We are back on offense. Willie Bowen up to Bradsters. Bradley Peterson. All right, Bradley got to collect it. Come on, Br Bradley, come on. You got to collect that. You should, shouldn't take three tries to get that. Yeah. Ford Pegram taking a little rest. Carson Ahola coming in there. Sprinting. Yeah, I feel bad for these middies. They got to do a lot of running. <laughs> Pierce. It's an aggressive play. Well, hey, it's the right. The look, at, look at the ball. <laughs> the ball's at the over Shepard. Oh, oh, let's see. Eli Kaplan. Oh, oh, Eli, come on. You can't do that. You can't do that. That was off of um, the goalie anyway. <laughs> you can't do that, Eli. That was an easy shot. I mean, the goalie was there, but I mean, it's a one-on-one. -on -one. To Kaplan. Kaplan. All right, Eli, can he, leave up, can he live up to his name Keep of going. jeans? Am I not wearing jeans? All right, Bradley Peterson looking back to Ford. Jeans over to Teach. Teach looking back to Pierce. All right, let's see what Pierce can do. A couple spin moves here. Ah, uh, uh, on. there's one. <laughs> yeah, there's two. <laughs> there's three. I, I, you know what? Can I, I'm gonna make a nickname for Pierce now. He's the Spin Cycle. I like. Don't you like that? Pierce is now the new. Is oh, oh, good deep, good aggressiveness by Eli. Great job. Come on, get number four to the ground. There you go. Is that the end of the, f oh, no, end of the first, yep. 
No, timeout. No, timeout. Timeout. 30 seconds left in the first. Yeah, but no, from now on, Pierce Gregory is the spin cycle. That's his new nickname for okay. the people at home. I think, I think it fits him. I think it fits him. It's a pretty respectable name for somebody with a lot of talent, like Pierce says. You have any guess where Pierce committed next year to play lacrosse, Sebastian? Probably a D1 school. D1, that is correct. But which D1 school? Uh, how about... A conference. Uh, I couldn't. I can tell you what state. I don't know the Okay, what well, state? Rhode Island. <laughs> You're like, can you say it again? <laughs> <laughs> URI? No. Bryant University, home of the Bulldogs. Have you heard of it? Yeah, I've heard of Bryant. I didn't know it was in Rhode Island. No. Yes, it was. It's actually 40 minutes away. Speaking mm. of Rhode Island, we should hopefully, onto my show, Unpopular Opinion, have a guest from Bryant University, a college football player, be coming on for some sports Jeopardy, which is one of my popular segments for the show Unpopular Opinion on DSC TV, which I highly recommend for the audience at home to tune into because it is quite entertaining. And we've had a lot of lacrosse players coming on, such as Ben Teach. Ben Teach is a loved member of the guest appearances. He's had a lot of good moments. Uh, who else from this team has been on the show? Johnny Bennett, of course. He came on. He had a great run in Sports Jeopardy. Um, I'm looking now at the roster. They uh, just said Mark Coley is the team. Oh, and Charlie Budd. Those are the men who have been, who have taken the very brave trip. I should get on there soon, Sports oh, Jeopardy. Absolutely. We would love to have you, Sebastian. I think you would. But the only thing is, I think you'd beat the entire game show. <laughs> We'd have to cancel because you'd just be so good. I mean, you know more sports than I think the entire world combined. You're a danger for sports fans everywhere, too. Tell the truth about the world of sports that we live in. All right. We got, let's end this first period with 30 seconds left on the clock. All right, let's see what the riders can do. All right, a little bit of passing here, you know. With a nice ball still on the axe a little bit here. All right, they're going to try to create one more short opportunity for the medway, all right? Yeah, the final push. All right, let's see, let's see. Here. Some nice stuff over here. Nine seconds. <laughs> they're, they're holding it. Four all right. Minute. Here they go. Five, here they go. Four. Uh, w w three, all right, here they go. Two. One. Oh, they're not even going to shoot it? What the heck? They're not even going to try. That's wow. unbelievable. <laughs> well, Sebastian, that's the end of the first. We'll be back. We're not. We're really not going to cut off, so we'll stay here. Yeah. So, in terms of the boys, lacrosse, in case the people at home are curious, the next games that we're covering, we got a little bit of a hiatus in terms of coverage for boys lacrosse because this Wednesday, May 12th, tune in for some girls lacrosse at 5.15, Followed by another girls lacrosse game at 5.15 on Monday, May 17th. And another girls lacrosse game at 5.15 on M Wednesday, May 19th. So the next time you will see your boys Raiders lacrosse team will be the 20th, the 20th of May, the Thursday. You will see the boys Raiders at 4 p.m. on Thursday, May 20th. And then again on Monday, May 24th. And then only two games after that. On the DSC TV for Boys Lacrosse, which would be Wednesday, June 9th, and Monday, June 14th. <laughs> which is funny enough because <laughs> I graduate on the 6th. So there's going to be five total, five more DSC TV sports games after I graduate. So it will be fun. What do you do after you graduate? You know, you go off to college, Sebastian. It's a fun time. <laughs> Wait, a, so does your school year end earlier than ours? Uh, so I am done in two and a half weeks. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, I have still six more weeks. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I can only I already count the days, <laughs> which is really <laughs> nice. I'm telling you. Once you get there, you can't wait yeah. to go back. And I have standardized testing next week. Oh, man. Well, good luck on that. We know everybody here from the DSC TV crew is wishing you good luck. All right. I think they're switching sides to kick off because I see my favorite player over there on the offense. You know, I don't want to pick favorites, so mm -hmm. I'm just going to say... I like the offensive, the defensive, the middies, and, of course, the goalie, which means or obviously all the bench players and the coaches. So I love the whole team. I'm a Raider, a true pure Raider. All right, uh, passing away from Medway, 
Let's see what they can muster up over here. All right, pass back. They're trying to create a good opportunity. Oh, Ooh, unlucky. Off uh, that was off the front iron. They tried. Yeah. That was number three. He got there first. Six. Oh, oh, what a, a great shot, too. What a beautiful save. All right, Luke Weiss <laughs> got to get out of trouble. Oh, what a heck. He's just hitting him with the bat. Is that legal? <laughs> I'd call that lacrosse abuse. You're just whacking him over the head with the... You're supposed to get the ball, not the player's helmet. You know, I'd like to say uh, lacrosse is like a very... It's a combination of a ton of sports. It really is, yeah. I can see a little bit of field hockey. Well, actually... Oh! No way! That was a beautiful save by Derek. Oh my god. <laughs> he is playing out of his mind. Here yeah. comes Billy Rooney. Also oh, sp I oh, spin move. Oh, he doesn't want to have any more ankles broken. Up to Teach. All right, Teach got to take it up now. Here comes the speed of Ben Teach. You got to go up. Second guy comes in. He's looking. He's, everyone's covered pretty well. Everybody's watching out for Pierce. Scored two goals already. Oh, spin move. It's spin cycle. Spin, spike, spin cycle gets the ball. Oh. There's it to Pierce. Ah, uh, no spins over there. All oh. right, Eli got it. Come on, Eli. Get that ball. All right. It's out. Ah, uh, that is out. Wait, what? The ball went out. How's it out? Uh, it hit the pa past the uh, hash marks. I see. So it went out. All right, let's see what happens now. A little bit of passing back and forth. Let's see the shot over here. They're looking. Pressure. Oh, back check there a bit. Who's number two? Number two is Cadence Ty. Oh, Cadence Ty is out there. Oh, good to see yeah. Mr. Cadence Ty playing some. I thought he was more of a midi, but apparently midi on defense. Oh, he just easy. Noah Samson has an easy path. Wow. Oh, Ben Teach. Oh, oh he lost was, the ball. Oh, he had it. That would have been a, a nice <laughs> highlight there. I don't understand. Why did they just let Noah Samson run off the field without covering him? Interesting. Good, good defense though by uh, Medway. They're really um, pressuring the Raiders. Yeah, got to, got to get that out, Charlie. You got to get that out. He's looking. He's looking. Bud going for the long pass. Nice, right to Mr. Ford Pegram. Pegram. Teach. Teach. Bradley rips it. Oh, Pierce. Ah. I'm sorry for anybody that thinks I might be talking a bit too loudly. <laughs> a lot of energy when it comes to the Raiders. Turns out I bleed blue and white, so. <laughs> Due to popular demand, I have a loud voice. <laughs> oh, there's a flag. Yeah, I think. Delayed it, penalty. I think on the it was Raiders. a flagrant. I would call that a flagrant, pretty clearly. Unlucky there. That's out of bounds. Oh, saved. It's good saved by save. I don't know how that wasn't called out. Oh, wow. Get the. Oh, nice. What was that? Yeah, it was a flag. Oh. I don't know it was a flag, but they called it after the. Eh, whatever. All right, number 24, Mr. Billy Rooney coming in for Mr. Ford Pegram. Yeah, and timeout. Ford Pegram. By the Raiders. Oh, Raiders. Oh, Raiders. Bum, ba -dum, bum, 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 bum. <laughs> Mr. Greeny giving a little pep talk to Cadence Ty. Cadence is doing pretty good. Speaking of MVPs, how about Derek Daly's performance in net? Oh, yeah. my God. Only letting one Beautiful. goal. Beautiful. Not even that. He's stopped a lot of really difficult shots on net. So, great job by him. I think he's going to keep it up. Or I hope he does. Because you know what? I don't like losing at all. I'm quite a sore loser, actually. <laughs> Whenever I lose, I, I, I don't really get a lot of sleep. Especially when my Raiders lose, I, I don't know how I can live after that. It's a very difficult process. It's a, it's a difficult night after the Raiders have a loss. But you know what's good about that, Sebastian? What? You'll learn. Raiders don't usually lose. It's quite a rare occurrence here in Dover, Sherburn. <laughs> and as I say that, I pray I did not jinx anything. <laughs> All right, the coach of Medway giving a little pep talk. Yeah, three things, how they're going to win the game. Well, I can tell the three things. Impossibility. I'm <laughs> 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 oh, just kidding. I told you, I'm a homer. See, I don't understand why they have to reference the country of Mongolia. 
people of Mongolia are very peaceful individuals, and I have a lot of respect for the country of Mongolia. Yeah. I mean, if they have a Mongolian member of the team, I absolutely agree with the chant, but yeah, otherwise, um, I need to learn about that chant right there, one, two, three, Mongolia. Yeah, in um, music class, um, we listened to Mongolian throat singing the other really? day. Really? It's a classic. Very interesting. <laughs> it's one of my favorite tunes. I listen to it on the car ride to school. <laughs> What's your favorite song from uh, the Mongolian genre? <laughs> And yes, for any lacrosse players watching this for uh, tape, yes, we are talking about Mungle and throat singing. All right, Medway's looking to shoot already. Another block by Derek. Oh my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> He's not tackled as much as he was in football, but that means he can do a lot more damage. Yeah. Rooney. Let's see what Billy Rooney can do. Oh. <laughs> Look at that. We both saw that little hit over there. He's running. Oh, somebody just went for his legs. Okay. You're going to get a lot of bruises in this game. Yeah. I, I wonder what it's like to be a goalie. You just get, like, a ball whipped at, like, 50 miles an hour. Uh, imagine playing. Oh, well, actually, in hockey, you have pads, but the puck is much smaller. But still. Yeah. Noah Sampson is coming out. So is Mr. Luke Weiss. They're putting in Ford Pegram and Eli Kaplan. Ben Teach. To Kaplan. Eli Kaplan. Also, Billy Rooney taking a little breather. And Luke Weiss reentering the field. All right. Speaking of Raiders, let's see some offensive play. Bradley... He's looking. Is he going to pass it to the spin cycle? Uh, I mean, he's not only does Mr. Pierce is not just the spin cycle. He's also the money-making goalie machine. So he makes a lot of goals. Oh, Michael, Michael Polk checking into the game. Number 13. Keep your eye on him. He's pretty good. Big football player as well. A lot of football. A lot of multi-sport athletes here. Some hockey players. Some fo Oh, stripped. Eli. Oh, he got that. That was a good job. Yeah. Great good. job by Eli. Wow. Throws the ball right back to the Raiders. All right, let's see what Michael Polky can do. All right, here comes Polk. Over to Ford Pegram. He drives. Oh, oh, fake. Oh, what a, a shot. That would have been beauty. Absolute beauty. Let's see this here. Here comes Bradley. Over to Rips. Pierce scores again! The spin cycle adds a second one to his collection. Oh, but there's a player down. That looks like Bradley Peterson is down on the ground. I hope he's okay. He's slow getting up. Tanya is jogging, but Bradley looks to be okay. So it's time to celebrate. It's a goal for the Raiders. Yeah, now they're up uh, three, three to one. Two one with 7-16 remaining in the second quarter. 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 With a cup of clam chowder. I don't like clam chowder. Really? Oh. No. Well, then you can move to the south. Yeah. <laughs> That's just... Oh, here comes Ben Wayne. What a nice rip out there. Oh, man. You're, you do not want to get in his path. You don't want to get in his path. <laughs> the ref's just not calling anything. Okay. Over to... Ooh, oh, nice catch. Nice snap. You know, I would hate if Pierce scored all three goals and I only am crediting him with the first two, with the last <laughs> two. I, I think it was Teach, though, that scored the first. I'm not 100% sure. Johnny Bennett, Luke Weiss on the side. Same with Ben Wayne. They come in. Teach and Willie to... Bowen comes right back in. All right. Ford looking around. He got some time. Eli jucking in there. Okay. Ford. Teach. Ford. Is that Mr. Willie Bohan? All right, here comes Brad. Oh, gives it over to the spin cycle. Oh, unlucky. Oh, deflects off of Teach. Ricochet. Teach. Oh, Ooh, good shot. Yeah, it was, it was at the goalie's face. <laughs> I think he blocked it with his helmet. <laughs> that must hurt if you don't have a helmet and Ooh, the ball hits you with the face. Ball that's and that's out. out. That is not just out. <laughs> the coach for Medway is not happy. He's upset of that pass. And I don't really blame him. I don't know who that was a pass to. It was a pass. Well, I know it was a pass, but I don't know who it was to. <laughs> to the air. Absolutely. The air catches everything. Disagree. If it's windy, I don't really think it's going to be a completion. <laughs> uh, oh! Oh! <laughs> Pierce was just trying to get a hat trick right there. Oh my! Well, he could have a hat trick, but we just don't know. <laughs> hey, in the first in the first game that they lost, he had a hat trick. I feel like it's really that easy to get a hat trick in lacrosse. Yes, but at the same time, 
it's also, you have to be very talented to score all the goals. Oh, Bradley tries. Eli, oh, Eli well, I mean, come I, on. It's probably more easier Eli. to score Patrick in lacrosse rather than, like, hockey. Eli just shot the ball and just let it go. This is the wrong sport. That's football in, or any or basketball. This sport, you have to sprint right over to it and track it down. Eli pointing. He doesn't like what he sees. All right, let's see some defense. Oh, Bradley. Oh, Ooh, Bradley. Get, ah, Bradley, get it. No, that's not the ball. Get the ball. <laughs> get the ball. <laughs> ben Teach. <laughs> he was just pushing him. Teach. And like, teach. Teach Dangles. Oh, oh come on. Like, oh, oh, Pierce, the spin cycle gets his, I don't know what Pierce. Check there, <laughs> no, eh? I, I get what Bradley was doing when he loses the ball. He just tries oh, to the check the goalie pushing up. I just gets, gets, needs to rip the goalie ball Goalie pushing up. All right, Medway had very. They had a lot of opportunities in the offense on the first quarter, but not as much in the second. Let's see what they can do here. All right, pass to number nine. Yeah, 440 left. In the second quarter. Quarter. All right, 17 spins. He's trying to get into the body of 16, which is Charlie Bud. Yeah, good call. Here comes Johnny Bennett. Oh, nice bounce pass. Oh, nice bounce shot. Did that go in the net? No. Unlucky. Yeah, but that was good comms from the Raiders there. No, I'm actually curious from you, Sebastian. What do you think is the hardest net to score in? The end zone for football, the soccer net, the goal net for hockey, the basketball hoop, the field hockey net, or the lacrosse net? What's the hardest one to score in? Oh, oh it's a goal. Wow. Yeah. Good job by Medway. Then um, and they just got... Another point, and now they are down two to three. So I'd probably say, you know, um, maybe hockey or lacrosse. Really? Uh, how about the, let me let me paraphrase. The, how about wide open? Wide open. What is the easy like from from uh, the middle of the court? What is the easiest one to score? Oh, oh, the hardest. The hardest from the middle of the court. Basketball has to be right because yeah. that would like even when you are wide open, that must be the hardest one to shoot mm -hmm. in because. Yeah, it's so easy to just hit it in hockey. You just like uh, actually, when I think about it, lacrosse might actually be pretty difficult because the, the net is still pretty small. You have to be pretty accurate, but it's not as difficult as basketball. Yeah, that's much, much harder. Be much more precise. Okay. All right, here comes Bradley Peterson. Peterson. Can he capitalize uh, and make another shot? All right, gives it to Mr. Teach. Teach. All right, spin cycle. Spin cycle. <laughs> it's catching on, isn't it? Teach. All right, that's Kaplan. jeans. Yeah. All right. Oh, here comes Ford over to Willie Bowen. I love Willie. He's such a nice kid. Kaplan. Teach. Spin cycle. Oh, Ooh, bouncing ball. Unlucky. Unlucky. He was looking for a bounce pass, but it goes out of bounds. Yeah. Yes, I know it's off, as said by the Medway coach. That's Carson Ahola running right into the field of play. And resume play here. Yeah. Not too much time left in the yeah, half. Yeah, 320. Ooh. Good push there from number 22. They're not going to call that. DS defense trying to get aggressive. No, oh, pushing a little bit here. Yeah. Oh! Ford Pickering goes for a little tumble. <laughs> Ooh, what a shot. If that went in, that would have been a highlight SC reel. SC Top 10. I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't see that. But it's really difficult to get in the SC Top 10. I was watching a couple of days ago. The number one play was a kid that was um, had his right arm amputated. Or no, his left arm amputated. So he only had one arm. And he posterized a kid on a oh. dunk. Do you, know how, do you know how difficult that is? I mean, a dunk itself is hard. Oh, here comes a shot. Oh, it's a tie game. Uh, tie game. <sighs> That's unfortunate. Where is Sandish? No, actually, I think Derek is doing a great job at the net. All right, we got to pick it up, though. The momentum's shifted back to Medway, so we need to get this right back to the Raiders. Ben Wayne off to tip it off with Johnny Bennett and Noah Sampson looking for the ball. Passes back. Ooh, oh, picked up. Midway, Number Midway. 33. Here oh, comes no, Johnny Bennett. Ball. Oh, kicks it up. A lot of running in this sport. you got to be fast. Now Here comes. Uh, what was that? Oh, come on. Oh, come on. There is no penalty. Come on. 
That was a bad call by the ref. That was clean. Yeah, 33. Midfielder playing with the long stick. That was, that Gen was. Generally don't see that. Yeah. Stepped out of bounds. And Diaz ball. There we go. Good defense there. Good defense. All right, here comes Charlie Bud. Charlie hucks it. Wide open, Mr. Johnny Bennett. All right, let's see Johnny. Johnny, a very athletic family of his. Shout out to Mr. Danny Bennett. Bradley, teach, teach. One teach, good shot. Oh. oh, I think it was stripped out. The offense lost a lot of momentum. They got to, oh, Eli Kaplan sneaks yeah. that. All right, give it back on offense. Eli. A lot of people, okay, Definitely. foul. Teach, oh, unlucky. Come on, shoot that. Ah, you got to get that. Come on, teach, come on. There you go, picks it up, picks it up, tries to spin out of it, gives to the spin cycle. Got to collect it first. Pierce, get that. Come on. Flag. Ah. Flag. Yeah, that's true. Penalty. It's going to be Raiders bar. Hopefully. Hopefully Raiders bar. All right, here comes Ben Teach to pass the yeah, ball in. 21 left. Absolutely. Second quarter. It's a quick game, really. There's no, not as many timeouts, and the game goes a little quicker. All right, Please. Teach over to Willie Bohan. Bohan. Brad, spin cycle. Teach. teach. This, is, this is like a name game. <laughs> this is like, yeah. you know, when you're when you, uh, first day of class and you need to meet everybody in your class. This is like a giant yeah, icebreaker. Ice yeah, exactly. They're, they're not fun. I don't like those icebreakers. <laughs> it's always, because the teachers make it way too complicated. Like, what's your favorite color? And go, go in a group with everybody with their same favorite color. And I always like to be the complicated one. I'm like, my favorite color is dark purple. <laughs> and everyone's like, dark that's not red. A, yeah, everyone's like, that's not a color. I'm like, of course it it's is. a color. It's a color, it's color, but you can't see it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, Brad, Willie. Ah, Ford wanted that. Unlucky. Yeah, if they lose it, it becomes dangerous. They're trying to set up a great shooting opportunity. 30 seconds left. Oh, is this a shot? Ah, it is a shot. Oh, I think that hit his knee. Oh, that didn't sound good. That's okay. He's all right. He's all right. That must be so hard if you're a goalie. You have, like, no pads. Absolutely. All right. Bradley. They're restarting over there on our side. It's closer to the camera. Also, shout out to the cameraman, you know. We did a lacrosse game on, not a lacrosse game, a baseball game on Friday. And I filled in as a cameraman. You know, it's much harder than you think it is. It really is. So shout out to Mr. Dan Murphy, the best of the best in the biz. All right, here comes Spin Cycle. What can he do? Oh, Ooh. tries to bounce it. Brad, ah, come on. Uh, that hit a stick. 7.3 left. It's safe to say it's halftime unless I um, got a shot from like 50 feet away. Seven. Six, f four, three, ah, it's yeah. gone. One. And that is the end of the- Two seconds. Two seconds. That is not the end of the first half. That is the end of every minute of the second quarter, except for the last two seconds. Fun fact. Uh, you just gotta, it's like a basketball drill. You just gotta throw it in and take a shot. Just throw it in. Two. All right. Unlucky. And that is the end of the first half with the Dover Sherman Raiders. Three points, tying the Medway Mustangs. Three points. Hi, I'm Dan Murphy, and I'm here to welcome you and hopefully encourage you to participate in the fourth annual uh, DSCTV Film Festival. Uh, we're going to start accepting entries um, from now until June 3rd. Uh, which is graduation, so if you can make a short eight-minute film, upload it to YouTube, and submit it to us, uh, you can win some prizes. Um, we're going to be offering, once again, uh, over $1,000 in, in total prizes, and uh, we'd really like your participation. So uh, visit the website, dsctv.com, for details, and uh, hopefully we'll get to see your film.
everybody. Welcome back to the game between the Raiders and the Medway Mustangs. <laughs> beautiful game out here. You know, it's a yeah, classic. Beautiful day. Um, beautiful day on the beautiful game, you know. It's, uh, a, it's a classic. It's a classic out here. Weather 48, no, 61 right now. You, you want to say what the score is? Uh, the score is 3-3 three to three right that is now. absolutely correct, Sebastian. You must be a mind reader. Yeah, I know. Um, yeah, forecast looking pretty good for the rest of the day. Um, around seven, it's supposed to drop down a bit. Sunset tonight is at seven fifty-four. <laughs> okay, Mister Weatherman. And it's supposed to get colder gradually throughout the day, and to tomorrow we we should get around highs of sixty-four. Okay, thank you, Mister Weatherman. Yeah, but on Friday it's supposed to reach a high of seventy-two. Okay, okay, that's that's great, Sebastian. <laughs> oh, next week's looking splendid. That's great, Sebastian. I'm I'm really happy about that. Classic. <laughs> and that goes the end of my career. So it's time to go back to lacrosse. Switch sides back to the first sides of the first quarter. And let's see what the Raiders can muster in. Hopefully a little break. Got a little bit of momentum. Got a little bit of fresh air. Got a little bit of water. Mitch fighting. Um, Medway gets it. Oh, can't you, like, when you're doing a... Face off, can't you step on somebody's stick and like, crack it in half? <laughs> yeah. Hey, you couldn't bend the stick and they just don't do it. I don't I think, think it's, it's made, made of metal though. Yeah, but like if you're a strong <laughs> strong you fat guy. Oh yeah, you could have a pretty hefty guy up there. Step on the stick and break it. I mean I've broken metal before with my bare hands. It was skin it was thinny metal, but it was metal. <laughs> Nevertheless. Nevertheless, yeah. So give myself credit. All right, let's see what the trap happens here. Murphy, not enough credit. I keep talking about the offense. Let's get some love for the defense. There's been the middies. Ben Wayne, oh, you just got ankles broken. Passes it. Oh, oh great save by Derek. Wow, great yeah. save by Derek. Oh, what the what the pass in the world was that? that I'm was, not sure. No, he wasn't looking for Murphy. He was looking up, but that one sailing over Murphy's head. Um, And... We got Luke Weiss and Henry Murphy and Charlie Budd anchoring down this D. Yeah, but let's see how three. they can anchor. Oh, that was not that great a shot. And it's going to hit the pylon. <laughs> that hurt my ears. <laughs> <laughs> For a pylon shot, that hurt my ears. You know, I actually that, that I don't think he could have done that if he tried, actually. Maybe. Hitting the pylon isn't that easy. All right, Derek. To Brr. 22. Charlie Bud, yeah, it's Charlie. No. Oh, that's Henry, Henry Murphy. Henry Murphy. I knew that. I don't know why. Oh. Speaking of this, kind of funny because Charlie Bud was number 22 during the football season. Oh, let's see that. Behind the back. Oh, Billy Rudy collects it. He's mm. looking. He's looking. He's dangling in. What the? Oh, it's ineligible. Too many men on the field. Oh, maybe. yeah, that's what it is. Oh, Sebastian, you're a classic. I don't know. I just look at the I see you. Signal. You look classic in this. I think you got a nice future of broadcasting ahead of you. Oh, steal. oh teach. Ben teach! Can he score? Can he score? Go! Teach! That hurt my ears. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the one that's supposed to hurt people's ears, not the other <laughs> way around. I, I don't know how our cameraman is being able to hold that in. That hurts my ears. What a beautiful goal by Teach on a breakaway by, from the Raiders. Goal! I think, you know what, I'm going to give both him and Pierce credit for two of the goals today. Even though Pierce might already have a hat trick, but I'm going to say that Teach had the first, he has the fourth, and by the way, the score four is three four now. to three. Mm. Tip off Griffin Ross bottom up there instead of Ben Wayne. Let's see what he can put oh. together. Can't pick up the ball. So. Okay. And he finally does. Oh, but then he gets it checked out of him. And Teach going for the ball. Yeah, let's see what he can do. And it'll be Dovershire Moon Ball. You're trying to break my eardrums. It's not going to work. You can only break my mentality, not my eardrums. All right. Let's see some offense. Oh, Willie oh. drops it. Unlucky. Oh, he's trying to get that back. Oh, at least... Oh. Oh. Falls out. Play on, yells the referee. Oh. You know, like, this is actually seems very scary. Just if you're in the massive vest, just getting your checked. What do you mean? Like, 
I'm not sure how you don't break a bone playing this game. Well, I mean, it's a difficult sport. There's no, there's no shot oh. in it. Shot attack. There's no, there's no shot in It's a difficult sport, hundred percent. Yeah, teach. Fifteen. Oh, Ooh. good try. That's four P group number fifteen. Yeah. For the information for the viewers. All right, let's see what they can do here. Mm -hmm. Willie Bow on is gonna go to the spin cycle because the spin cycle is gonna start off possession over here. All right, spin, sp spin cycle is driving in. Oh. Spins. <laughs> it's in his name. Six. Willie. Oh! Oh! He shoots. He scores. He is Willie. Oh, the defensive end for the Raiders. You wouldn't expect the football defensive end to be a star offensive player for the Raiders. First goal of the season for my, maybe he scored on Saturday, I'm not sure, but great goal overall by Willie Bowen and the Raiders. are up 5-3. to three. Ah, You took my words right out of my mouth. Ha -ha. Good job. Good job. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. You sound like my dad or something. Oh, that's good. I can be like your peer mentor. <laughs> All right, scores five to three. I think that's Griffin Rossbottom taking that tip up. Oh, Carson Ahola scoops it. Oh, oh too high too for hot. Bradley. Ah, oh, that would have been a great turn of events for the Raiders. Uh, Raiders. Higher the pitch, the worse of the voice. And bouncy ball is picked <laughs> up. Bouncy ball. By twenty-one. Passing it off to 22. Oh, 28 can't find the ball. Just checking the ball. I don't know why, but anyway. And that is the end. Yeah. Nope. Oh, that's just a timeout? Oh, they just couldn't call anything No. Out. It was uh, something on Medway that made Dover Sherman get the ball anyway. Teach. Right, let's see it. Teach. Oh, no, that's not teach. Um, 50. Ooh. Right, let's see. That's Bradley Peterson. Unlucky. Yeah. There's Michael Polk. Ooh. Ooh. He got hit from behind. But he's okay. He's okay. He's a football player. He can handle that. Bradley Peterson. Peterson. Oh, oh he got... Oh! oh. <laughs> Michael Polk. Oh, oh. 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 oh! oh, that hurt my ears. That was Mr. Number 5. Tim Sampson! Wow, Tim Sampson up from the mini position to make another beautiful impact for the Raiders. Yeah, coming in, taking dirty work, and just slamming that through. Great the goal for the Dover Shipping Raiders! Goal. Goal. And the score is currently 6 2, Medway 3. Kind of running. The momentum, I can say, pretty heftily has switched back to Dover Sherburn as a timeout has been called by the Medway Mustangs. Yeah, DS up 6-3, to three, Medway trying to get back some of the goals that they have let in. Hopefully they do. That's the goal. I think, think they got something going in the future. I like, to see, I like to see what I like to see. And what I like to see is a victorious team, also known as the Raiders. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to be in the Gat household when the Raiders lose a game. What do you mean? Raiders don't lose. <laughs> I don't know, it's actually one of the fake myths of the world. <laughs> I don't know what they teach you kids in middle school, but the Raiders never lose <laughs> games. It's actually a statement that has been president to president, passed down generation to generation, that the Raiders have never lost. Oh, now they're saying diesel. It's better than Mongolia. <laughs> Maybe next there'll be, I don't know, Bitcoin. <laughs> I don't know what these chants are. How is the Bitcoin doing? Not great. <laughs> not great. It's very fluctuating. But this is not a stock market debate. Because I would have my... Fair share of words to say about that, that's for sure. All right. Griffin Ross Bottom. 
take the tip off. Another face off, and this looks. This looks like it's not going anywhere. Mm -hmm. You know what I just realized? The last name Ross Bottom Riley. is just like the last name Long Bottom from Harry Potter. No. It's Long Bottom. No, I know that's the name in Harry Potter, but yeah. Griffin's last name is Ross Bottom. <laughs> so I find it funny. The irony. Exactly. The irony is uncanny, as the young hooligans say these days. Oh. Long of a pass. <laughs> DS ball. You could see that looked like an NFL play. He was diving for that one. That looks kind of funny. A little chuckle here and there. Gets the Raiders fair and square. Here comes Luke Weiss. Mr. Mullenberg himself up the sideline. Billy Rundog, as I like to call him, to teach. teach. Spinny. <laughs> spinny. I went from from Pierce to Spin Cycle to Spinny. I'm you know I'm getting lazy with these names. It's not good. <laughs> you gotta work on your own There's parkour. Yeah. Yeah. I got nothing to work on. I'm a professional. Yeah, it's six to three Raiders. Number eleven Wyatt Parkour. Mm -hmm. No, it's just passing it. All right. That's Tim Sampson over at a spinny. Oh, is he gonna do? Ah, he's not spinning. Oh, Ooh, that would have been a great shot. Spinny almost got a shot, shot. there. That'd Six to three shot. Raiders. Six thirty left. Oh, that would have been a great shot. All right, here comes. Oh, Bradley loses spinny it. Spinny getting the pick. Oh, he tries Ooh. to hack at that. Unlucky. Oh, Ooh, we don't like it. we'll we don't take like it. it. We'll take it. Then we don't like that call. <laughs> Raiders fan, remember, we'll take anything we can. Absolutely. Well, we have to be unbiased here, which is very difficult, but. Something we must do. Still, the score is 6 3. Dover Sherburn leading Medway with 6 19 left to go. Especially with a homer like you. Absolutely. Oh, Marge. Simpsons reference, because he's called me a homer. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. All right, let's see what they can do here. Teach. Pass it off to number six. That's Willie Bowen. Let's see what Willie can do. Willie back to Ford. Ford to teach. Teach. Shoots Fires it. Shot. Weiss ball picked up by Brad. Brad no, stolen oh. the ball. That's thrown in the air. That's Tim Sampson. Oh, that's oh. not a foul. He got almost pushed off balance. He Come got on, check. Come on, that's like, <laughs> what is a foul? Like, I need to know what defines a foul. Like, are you supposed to be knocked to the ground? Yeah, basketball is really easy. No. Everything's a foul in that sport. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. Let's see if they can steal it. It's an open net. Let's see if they can do something here. Oh, man. That long stick is far ahead. Oh, the ball falls out. Oh, the ball he, is he literally just out. like He just kicked it up just to clear yeah. it out. That should be Dover Sherman ball. That is Dover Sherman ball. It's a pretty easy one. Pretty easy call. Absolutely. There's only two referees in the game. I just think how the referees are trained. No, I'm a, myself a referee for soccer, so. Oh, I yeah, same. Own. You're a soccer referee. That's good. You can fill in my shoes when I leave. No. <laughs> see what Derek Daly can do here. Oh! No. Too high. Almost intercepted. No, oh, I was too low, actually. Yeah, it should have been higher. But, I mean, if it was higher, it, it was just a bad throw. Bad intention. Bad intention over there. Mm -hmm. All right, Ben Teach. Teach Spinny. Let's see what Pierce can do. Pierce. One. There's one. Ooh, oh, trying to pass flex it. Ford. Ford. There's Willie. Bowen. Come on, Teach. Ooh, oh, that's Teach couldn't Sampson. capitalize. That's Tim Sampson. Balls that's up. Tim Sampson. That's Tim Sampson. Number five. Oh, oh, not in Ford Pegrams. Uh oh, nice. that one's a foul. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Four fifty-four left. Six three Raiders. A lot of yelling from the Medway sideline. Directions. Go here, go there. Do this, do that. Mm -hmm. Sky hooks it. From 22 over to 21. Five. Gives it up to number six for Medway. Oh! Ooh. Swim move! Oh my goodness! Yeah, it's DS ball. 
I think he pushed it off. Yeah, I'm pretty sure a swim move. The swim move happens, as we learned in football. You push a guy, and then you swim in front of him. That That is exactly what a swim move is. All right, here comes... Oh, Pierce! Oh, 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 no. come on. oh, come on! Oh, come on! Oh, come on! Hat trick on that goal? Come on, 7-3. to three. This is ridiculous. Pierce Gregory. Pierce Gregory, ladies and gentlemen, you guys are witnessing a beautiful performance. You know, you want to hear something funny, Sebastian? Sure. Pierce shouldn't even be in the school right now. Isn't that funny? He should have graduated last year. But because his freshman year, he went to private school. Uh -oh. And when he came back, he had to restart freshman year. So, because of that, he is a senior with the senior class. But it's a cross team. I guarantee it would not be the same without Pierce. Oh, I can promise you that. Yes, contributing more than half of DS's goals. Absolutely. I mean, he has a hat trick. Oh, two hot. Wow, what a dime. Dimes. Oh, unlucky there. Oh. Goes out of bound. Oh no, picked up. Number 22 with the hustle play there. there we go, Henry, Henry Murphy. Murphy. Let's see. Murphy, long pass, nope. flag on the play. I, why do they have to throw the flag that high? Like, I get it. I get it. There's a flag. You can just throw it on the field. You don't need to announce to the whole world that there's. Oh. Oh! Ben Teach! Oh! 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 Through the wickets! Oh my god! Through the wickets! Oh man, you gotta close up shop that late in the day. Come on. Watch those legs, buddy. The five hole. Five hole for the five goalie. What a beauty. That, now that's a hat trick for Ben Teach, you know? Funny enough, two hat tricks for Ben Teach and Pierce Gregory. That reminds me of the first game of the season where those two both had hat tricks. So. Flags a, waved off. So you know what that means, Sebastian. The score is Dover Sherbin 8, Medway 3, with approximately 350 left in the third quarter. Yeah, coming out, coming out of the half, five goals for the Raiders. Yeah. Wow. And no answer from Medway. Yeah, that's impressive. All right, Griffin. <laughs> He's digging. It's like an Easter egg hunt. Here comes Carson Ahola. Bradley. Can Bradley score today? That's the real question. Not to do some stat padding, but I mm -hmm. want to see Bradley get some action in the net. Teach. All right, Teach, we know Teach and Mr. Spin Cycle can score, but I want to see somebody else. And Mr. Sampson, of course, with that goal. And Mr. Willie Bowen. A lot of equal opportunities. Yeah. Jeans. Teach is trying to get something. There. Ah. Uh, there. Hey, there's Ben Teach. Kicks it back to Ford. Ford to Eli. Teach. Ford. Rips it. Oh, oh that's takes the rip. Back to Brad. Spin. Brad. Ah. Oh, too long. I think it was a good pass. Brad just wasn't ready. Offsides. Oh, offsides. Unlucky. Yeah, and I think, like, pro lacrosse, if you're offsides, it's like a 30 second releasable penalty, I think. Absolutely. Oh, oh, Eli almost lays out to get a guy out. <laughs> my God, Eli's putting his oh. life on the line. Oh, man. Oh, they, you know oh, the, my, oh gosh. my God. Yeah, that How was. How is he still on his feet? Oh, yeah, two flags. Oh. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, that. See, I agree with that call. Shockingly. It might surprise you, but I do agree. You heard it here first, ladies and gentlemen. Mika Gat agrees with the call. It was, uh, you know, I don't fully agree because I can't really go against my Raiders, but. It's tough to say that that was uh, clean. Very tough. Very difficult. And he just did the Minnesota oh. Vikings clap. The referee. Yeah, did. two minutes un unreleasable. Absolutely. That means he has to stay the whole two minutes. If they score, he's still out. All right, let's see his. Passes it to the other side. <laughs> let's see what they can put in here. Oh, oh and well, speaking of goal, number six. Puts it in. Medway gets another one. They are still down, though. Four to eight. Now they are just half. Have half of the points of the Raiders. Yeah. So, still a little while. 24 left. Still a little while to go. I, think they can, I hope they can capitalize. Ah, but it's...
All right, let's see this. That's going to be Medway ball. Uh, this isn't good. I don't want the momentum to switch back to Medway at the end of the third quarter. The Dover Sherman's had the momentum for almost the entire third quarter, but that goal by Medway might switch it. So let's see what happens. Number four, pass it back. Let's see the defense. Noah Sampson trying to pressure up. Johnny Bennett. Luke Weiss. Oh, good job by Luke Weiss. Oh, Johnny Bennett. Ah, oh, went behind him. See if Johnny can get that. Weiss trying to chase that down. Ah, uh, goes out. Oh, is that out on Medway? No. no. That's still in. Johnny Bennett. All the way up. Oh, oh, no. That should be a foul. Okay, that was a blind side. That's yeah. a blind side hit right there. Uh, Mr. Number 25, which would be Noah Sampson. Which is weird. Noah Sampson's a big guy. You wouldn't expect the blind side on him. Hope he's all right. Yeah, LT coming in with the first ever blind side block. If you don't know who who Lawrence Taylor is, I'm sorry, but I don't think you can consider yourself a football fan then. That's true. Pierce Gregory fighting between two guys. What do you mean they called it against Diaz? Did that ball didn't go out? Hmm. Up to number nine in the midfield. Bradley Peterson coming out of his offensive position to help out on the defensive end. Mm -hmm. Oh, good pop up by Carson Ahola. Oh, nice job by Carson. That's off of Medway. That's off of Medway. Come on, that's yeah. let's go. Let's go. Good play by the ref. Good call. That was off his foot. Good call. Good call. Yeah, Mika either loves the refs or he hates the refs. I don't like the refs. They, they, <laughs> make, they, they want to please me so they can't mess up every single call, only half of them. Yeah, you know, we still haven't seen Mika storm the field yet. Got close. <laughs> this season. It's been close. It's been close. Oh, come on. That's behind the back, but, uh, from behind the book. You know, I'd actually is. pay you to um, watch you storm the field. How much are we talking? <laughs> 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 This is a discretionary. This is not an uh, actual uh, idea that I have. This is more for soccer season. Soccer season, I was very passionate. Lacrosse, l these lacrosse boys I'm passionate for. Yeah, you're just going to get decked by one of the kids. B which one? Not the Raiders. No. Medway. Actually, yeah, Medway. Medway's in full pads, and I'm wearing nothing. <laughs> yeah, this, this wouldn't turn out too good. Okay, so 20, 20 seconds left. Eight to four Raiders on top. Little time left. So it's, yeah, still as he, as Mr. Sebastian meant uh, meant to say. Well, I guess he did say it's eight to four. A mm -hmm. little bit more passing. One last shot on goal. Bowen, Pierce. Mm -hmm. Pierce looking, looking. A lot of chance. It comes Pierce. Ooh, good rip by Ford. Unlucky goalie gets it. And that is the end of, of the, the third. third. Oh, jinx. Uh, <laughs> Dover Sherburn leads 8-4 to four with the start of the fourth quarter coming up very, very shortly. Thank you all for tuning in to this broadcast, and I'm going to give a little shout-out. I, I shouted out a little bit on Popular Opinion. By the way, check that out. It's a very fun TV show, I do, if I do have to say so myself, and that might be a little biased, but <laughs> I don't think so. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, Earth News, another classic TV show. It must watch TV, if I must say so myself, with the Crandall brothers. Those silly billies are always up to something. They are silly. Speaking of the Crandalls, brothers Cam and Brad Crandall helping out. DSC TV. Commentate. It's yeah, good. Brad and Cam both on Instagram tonight. And you don't know, follow our Instagram, DSKOTV, no uppercase, lowercase. And Sebastian's used to doing the Insta, so a little bit of a new thing today. <laughs> Diesel is Dover Sherburn word. Diesel. Okay, we're getting ready to start the fourth quarter. Absolutely. Twelve minutes left in 
Mongolia. <laughs> Woo! Let's go, Mongolia. Let's go, Mongolia. <laughs> Yeah, um, we just got confirmation that they don't even know what Mongolia means. How do you know? They just, um, I think, um, 24. Billy Rooney? Yeah, Billy Rooney asked them what Mongolia means, and they said they don't even know. It's a, ca it's a country in, in Asia that is very yeah. disrespectful. To any Mongolian out there, I'm sorry that the Medway Mustangs are disrespecting. Foul, and it goes in. Is it going to be waved off? Nope, it's going to count. Uh, is it? I'm looking. Nope. Oh, it is going to count. Eight to five. Eight to five. Which means Dover Sherman still has eight. And Medway has five. Which, by the way, what is five in Spanish? Cinco. Cinco, you know. Uh, uh, for, uh, you know, we should also do a, a Spanish broadcast because I'm an AP Spanish scholar. So, Ooh. I'll be able to provide some Espanol for our Espanol friends. Okay, what I don't get is that you don't even know what five is in Spanish and you're yet you're an AP scholar in what? Spanish. No, no, I didn't know what it was. I was making sure you did. I actually know I take French. You do? Yeah. Well, oui, oui. Oui, oui. Bonjour. Et je m'appelle Mecca. Et toi? Oh, but I know my fair share of French as well, my friend. All right, here comes Johnny Bennett. Look at that speed. Lay him out. Oh, let's go. Lay him out. WWE style. <laughs> <laughs> Violence is not condoned here. <laughs> Over Sherb and cable television. Please do not try this at home. I'll Monday Night Raw. No. Put Carson Ahola to Spin Cycle, who already has a hat trick of his own. To. No. Oh, Pierce spins. Spins Ooh. again. Oh. <laughs> Shouldn't by th by now shouldn't the Medway Mustangs know that Ford's gonna spin on them? Like, why do they keep pressuring him if they know that he's going to put a spin move on them? Yeah, like, um, eight to five current score. Eight to five yes, out in front with eleven minutes left in the fourth quarter. <laughs> the Medway picks up the flag and throws it back at the referee, but in a polite gesture, not like in the NFL, like they do. Mm -hmm. Polite gesture, I think, is okay. A mean gesture, now that is going to get you in trouble. All right, here comes P.S. Brad is going to take it out. Play ball. Brad to P.S. P.S. to teach, who has a hat trick of his own, as well as Mr. P.S. Gregory. So Michael Polk spinning. Oh, spinning again. Right, that is Michael Polk. Yeah, it is Michael Polk. Oh, Teach falls down. Teach looks to find Pierce. Let's get this momentum back. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's kicked oh, off out. Off the post. You could hear that I from say here. That to, they give it to Medway? Really? Coach Green is a little upset after that. Oh, there he does. Uh, Teach tries to steal that out. Nice pass up there. All right, there's some pressure by Charlie Budd. Let's see what they can do. Oh, tries to put it in. Unlucky. Yeah, 10-14, 8-5. Raiders out in front. Don't have Bennett. I don't understand why uh, I was about to say Johnny Bennett's the only 40 on the team, but there's actually a 49, which is... Oh, Johnny Bennett's 49. Yeah, who's, and 40, he's who's 45? Do we have a 45? No. It might be a, a JV player stepping up. Oh, I, I didn't know that. Maybe it was 49, and I just didn't see it, but I thought it was 45. I was out oh. of bounds. Thank you. That is now Dover Sherman's ball. Yeah. D All right. Here comes Ford Pegram with the ball. Ford is going to pass that up. Two. No one yet. Well, now it is to P.S. Gregory. Oh, here comes Teach coming around. Ooh. Oh, uh, too he high. tried to get that to Polk. Too high. Unlucky. Spin cycle picks it up. Let's see. 
He's in a different position. He's not used to being up here. Oh, man. But, you know, he's just as dangerous. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, that would have been a stop. Oh, come on. He put it in between his legs. Through the No, that was Teach that went in between the goalie's wickets. But Fierce did it behind the back earlier today. So two absolutely sports center-esque goals scored by two incredibly talented athletes for the mm -hmm. Raiders. We got a lot of good student athletes. Hopefully Sebastian is the next great. Over to Mr. Pius Gregory. Why, is your um, student athlete career over? No. Start and end with football? Probably. Forward to Mr. Oh. Michael Polk. Unlucky there. Okay. Let's see uh, if Ben Teach can corral it. Teach picks it up. Eight minutes left. Eight to five Raiders out in front. Teach. Teach. Let's see what he can do here. Over to Michael Polk. Eli Kaplan. Eli Kaplan looking to Pierce. Pierce to some Mongolian throat singers. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, we have a new goalie in. We do? Oh, that's 40. Is that, is, is that by chance? That's who I thought 45 was. That by chance, I think, might be Mr. Henry. Oh. Oh, how do I not? How did I just forget his last name? Henry, not Murphy. Henry Moore. Henry Moore, former football player. Former wide receiver turned quarterback, turned back to wide receiver from the football team, from the JV football team. But it looks like he's sending in for goalie. Bradley out to Elijah Kaplan. Oh, oh man, Eli just got knocked in the back. This has been an aggressive game, my God. Yeah. I don't remember the normal game being this physical. Refs letting them play. Uh, let's, let's let the boys be boys. You know that song? No, you don't know that song? Apparently not. Uh-oh, oh, drive. Driving in. Ooh, oh, off unlucky. the woodwork. What? There's no wood in the goal. That's all metal. There's no wood. Well, you know what I mean. It's it's off the metal. <laughs> all right, Charlie Bud. High sticking it. Over to Michael Polk. Let's see what Michael Polk can do. Is he looking for Pierce? He's looking for Teach. Teach, looking for the... Oh, oh unlucky. Off the He's looking for the net. net. Number 22 from Midway. Looking to pass. 6.56 left in the... Well, that was 53, but the point is Raiders are up 8-5. to five. Three goal difference with not that much time left. Let's see if the Raiders can pull out a W. All right, 17 looking around. 17. Oh, right to the pass back. Trying to go Oh, in. man, he's going. Oh. oh, he crosses from the other side. He's going to rip it. Oh. oh what save? No man. way. What a beautiful save by Henry Moore. Long I'm assuming pass. it's Henry Moore. I don't know. We don't have his number, but I would assume so. What a beautiful stop. Here comes Ford. Fakes. Oh, fakes. Drives. Takes. Goals! Oh. Ford Pegram from his mini position drives all the way to the top of the field and scores a hopefully dagger in. I mean, there's still a lot of time left, but hopefully the momentum just shifted right back to where it needs to be. With the Dover Shepherd Raiders. With the Dover Shepherd Raiders. Raiders. Let's see what we can do here. Another face off. And this that? one. That's Henry. That's Griffin Rossbottom. I don't know why I called him. I almost called him Henry Rossbottom. Mm -hmm. It's going to be Medway Ball. Oh, tries to knock that. Oh, aggression. Wow. That's, you know, sometimes being aggressive is the most sincere form of flattery. Or did I misread that quote? Oh, <laughs> he just tried to play that off his knees, the Medway offensive player. Oh, Griffin Rossbottom. Oh, man. Some pushing and some shoving and some kicking. Hmm. Play resumes. 540 left. 9 to 5. Raiders up in the top by four. Now let's see what they can do here. Number three passes it to 19. 19. Guarded okay. closely by number 25. 
See what 19 can do. Pass it to three. Unlucky here. Samson. Ooh. Here, here they come. Bradley. Oh, yeah, offside. Nice. Yeah, he went for it. He chopped out at that. I like the referee's uniforms. It's like formal pants on the bottom with the zebra shirt on the top. Oh. Goal for the Raiders. That Billy Rooney, number 24. Filthy. What a beautiful shot. This one hurts. That one hurts. You know, Ten to five. Absolutely. Another double-digit lead. Not. What did I just say? It's it's a, it's a double lead with five minutes and five seconds left in the fourth quarter, a.k.a. left in the game. You know, I like to see this, Sebastian. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, Diaz coming out strong. Hopefully just sealing this game up. Making That's the hope. That's the hope. I would assume so. I would definitely assume so. Time out on the play. Absolutely. They need, they need some momentum. They need a momentum shift. I, I don't blame them. They need a little bit of a momentum shift. It's been a it's been a rough quarter, to say the least, for Medway. I mean Medway's been playing a great game so far. You know, I'm gonna give credit to where credit's due. They've mm -hmm. been playing an excellent game, but Dover Sherburn. They put their heads down and they go to work. And that, my friends, is what lacrosse is all about. See, I get the diesel. Like, the diesel makes sense to me. The, the diesel chant. Mm -hmm, yeah, but where does Mongolia come from? Yeah, that, that, that one's a little confusing to me. I agree with that. Mm -hmm. I actually know where Mongolia is. You don't know where Mongolia is? No, I have to. I have a test tomorrow. Do you know so where it is? Says, yeah, it's right above China. It's in between China and Russia. Oh, and who would be your social studies teacher? I have Mr. Criscolo. They don't have... For 7th grade? Yeah. I didn't know he teaches 7th grade now. Yeah, he switched from 6th to 7th. Oh, so what does Mr. Macchiano teach? He still teaches 7th. Yeah. I heard he's a great teacher. I had him. I think. Mm. Yes, sir, Chuck! <laughs> all right. I, I don't know what's with the Mongolia ch chant, but, but it's something, all right? <laughs> it's something. It's definitely something. All right. Griffin Ross bought up. Looking to take the tip off. Looking to put the game away into the ending. A lot of nice support for Mr. Griffin Rolls Bottom. Yeah, 5.05. Just huh. about five minutes. They pretty much a goal per minute for Medway. That's kind of what they need. Oh, here comes Griffin. Here comes Griffin. He scoops it up over to Bradley. Bradley falls Ooh. down. Oh, Pierce plays through contact. Ball is behind him. Here comes Carson Hola. Carson Hola. Chicken. Over to Caden Stye. Not a lot of playing time, but there he is. He matters when it comes in when it matters. Oh! Ooh! Ford almost put that in. Yeah, Woo. For his second goal, five minutes. Woo. See, outside of Teach and Ford, uh, so, yeah, outside of Teach and Pierce, the goals have been distributed pretty fairly throughout the game. Still surprisingly, Bradley. I predicted Bradley. He, I mean, he has not been playing as bad as the normal game, but... Still, I expected him to have at least one goal. I know he'll pop back at least one game this season, which sucks that they have more away games than home games this year. Yeah. Generally, it's usually split even. Yeah. All right, here comes. Teach. Ben Teach. Maybe another. Oh! oh! Talk Five about goals. a fourth. Hey, you want to hear something cool, Sebastian? How about two goals between the wickets? That's Ben Teach right there. Oh, man, he's making his own highlight reel. Surprised Ben Teach hasn't committed to college yet for lacrosse. Has he committed yet, though? To college? Yeah. yeah every, everybody in my grade has already had to commit to college. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was May 1st. It's May what now? May 10th, I think? Yeah, today's May 10th. Well, how about 11 to 5? Raiders leading with 4 34 left in the game. So let's see what they can figure out to close the game. Good, a good game though by both teams. Uh, a little dirty though, because I mean a little bit of rivalry here. It's not. It's not a cleanest of games when two rivals meet for a head-to-head -head oh, yeah. matchup. Oh, off of the stick. Mm -hmm. Oh, ball on the ground. Picked up. Here comes Henry Murphy. Over to Henry Moore. I would assume so. Again, if that's not Henry, I'm sorry. Oh, oh come on. Four twenty left in the game. <laughs> oh, 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 can't laugh at that. But that was a very, very poor shot by Medway. 
on an open, not an open net, but a very lightly contested net. An uncontested look. No, it was contested. Henry Moore was there, but he's giving it to Luke Weiss, and Luke Weiss is taking it up. Michael Polk. Diaz in the opposing zone. Well, let's see what they do. I mean, they're on offense, yeah. Is that Spinny? Yep, it is. Our Instagram man, Brad Crandall. Taking, he has the better view of the offensive dominance of the Raiders, unless they switch back to the other side where his brother, Cam Crandall, takes over. Well, I don't know. What do you prefer, Sebastian? Do you like Instagram more, or do you like the commentating booth? I do like the commentating gigs. Isn't it fun? You get to say your own voice, your own opinions, and you get to be just like me. You get to talk without stopping. <laughs> it's fun. It's fun. It's fun to talk. Oh, Back court. offsides. Thought that ball was over midfield, but... Yeah. Uh, let's see what they do here. Passing the ball a little bit around. Medway. Luke Weiss is poking at it. Yeah. Nice defense. Ooh, Ooh, good save. Wow. Right into the cradle. Pass it to Mr. H Charlie, bud. Look at Charlie. Look at his speed. I don't give enough love to Charlie. Great athlete. Uh, they didn't call that out of bounds? Oh, the, the, oh. oh, okay. Lucky pass. It's Billy Rooney, who does not like the contact, but he's a he's a uh, hockey player. He can he can hold it. He can handle it. He's a golf, uh, hockey, and obviously Cross. lacrosse. Two minutes left. Bradley Peterson spins. Can he score? Mm. Oh, no, bad angle. Gives it to Teach. Pierce has been in the whole game. Him and Teach, dominant and getting their fair share. Ah, oh. it's knocked out. Yeah, White stepped in the crease. Uh, Step in there. That's a penalty. No, not a penalty. It's a change of possession. Well, okay, so it's all right. It's still a foul type of foul. All right, let's see what happens here. It's a full court pass or full field pass right there. All right. Oh, ball is taken by Luke Weiss, and he's going up. He is looking. Defenseman sists. Ah. Still pretty cool when a defensive player gets the assist. They don't always score, but an assist is still pretty darn cool. Bradley rips. Oh, you know Bradley wants that. You know he wants that. Bradley's upset, though. You want to have a better game? A minute 25 left. Raiders again leading 11 to 5. It looks like it's over, but of course... It's not over until that clock hits triple zeros. Ooh, that Medway guy almost got pancake, number 33. Yeah, didn't look good. No, it did not. All right, let's see what they do here. All right, over to... Oh, they got some new guys in there. They're getting... I mean, number 20 doesn't get a lot of playing time. Will Whittlesley. Yeah, I knew number 20 was... Some love to Mr. Will Whittlesley. Yeah, one minute. Oh, left. man. Oh, oh, what a great defensive play by Murphy and off the net, too. I don't think that was a goal. I think it's just was off the net. Great job. Great, great job. Great performance. Great game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's the final second to stick down. Absolutely. You know, I had a lot of fun, Sebastian. Yeah. I enjoyed it. It was fun. It was a blast. I enjoyed it. The commentary. All right, that is gone. That is going to be Medway ball. Thirty-four seconds in the final score. What looks to I know it's not the final score quite yet, but parents are leaving. Fans are the limited number of fans we had. Oh, can he sc score? Go! Wow, off balance. See, I talked too early. I said final score, and that is not the final score. Yeah, they get another point. It now is eleven to six. Medway makes it look a little Mika, bit nicer. He heard you, and he's like, "No, sir, we're gonna no. score." People don't really like it when I count them out. It's not a good look on me. It really isn't. 
People always expect more. People expect, hey, Mika. You have a Northeastern <laughs> commitment. Actually, not Northeastern. Good try, though. I'm going to Bentley University. Oh, thought you committed to Northeastern. Uh, I didn't. Not technically, so I decided to change my mind. A little switcheroo last minute. Mm. To Bentley University. Where, what is your major? Business, because Bentley's a business school. <laughs> it's a specific business school. Oh, man. There's a man on the ground. Oh, he has a cramp from Medway. Looks to be an ankle cramp, and he's rolling around. Yeah, unfortunate. Final seconds just taking Yeah, away. I hate to see it. Yeah, I really do. I hate to see the cramps. All right, team's walking around. But so, like I said earlier in the broadcast, for the viewers that were not there, our next broadcast is this Wednesday for our first ever girls lacrosse game of the season. But for the families of the boys lacrosse team, your next home game, sponsored by DSC TV, we will be broadcasting on Thursday, mm -hmm. May twentieth. Yeah. So tune in to then. But before the Thursday, May twentieth game, we have three more broadcasts, all three of girls lacrosse. It sounds like a French boy, you know, like... Le croissant. Le croissant. Le croissant. <laughs> Cro ah, croissant, not croissant. 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 Okay, very good, Mr. Frenchman. Français. All right, last couple seconds, tick off the clock. Medway passing it around. Still, Dover Sherburn up 11 to 6. Seconds pass off. Charlie blows a horn. <laughs> the horn! Is blown! Dover Sherburn runs over to congratulate the team on a victory. 11 for the Raiders, 6 for the Medway Mustangs. Thank you guys for tuning in. For your announcers, I am Mika Gat. Joined alongside Sebastian Saar. Ha shout out again to Dan Murphy, Cam Crandall, Brad Crandall, the rest of the awesome crew over at DSC TV. Thank you guys for tuning in. We'll be back here on Wednesday for Girls Lacrosse, and we'll see you on May 20th for Boys Lacrosse. Thank you, everybody. Have a great night.